On September 3rd, 2015, Parliament resolved to create Obongi District. The new district, which was formerly part of Moyo District, became operational on 1st July 2019. Obongi District comprised several administrative units, including Palorinya Sub-County. However, the residents of Palorinya contested the inclusion of the sub-county within the boundaries of Obongi. They wanted to remain in Moyo District. For us, we cannot be part of Moyo Obongi District. We don't like that one. And if it fails, we don't know how we are going to interact with those people. Kuva Palorinya kugenda Obongi kilometers anamu, anamu nana. Kuva Palorinya kuja moyo tuina kilometers kumina mukaga koka. Kakati atiba ya gala tugende yueyo. Nge nkuba atonya tosobula kugenda no obonyi. The residents and elders in Palorinya petitioned the Ministry of Local Government and later the Constitutional Court under Article 131, Clause 1 and 3 of the 1995 Constitution. Paul Drami Gia was the lead petitioner in constitutional petition number 0014 of 2020. He contended that before creating a new district, parliament did not consult the people of Palorinya on where they wanted to belong, either in Obongi or in Moyo district. The, the parliament has not given a public hearing for Obongi. So in a court, this has been declared null and void. The people of Palorinya are Madi, which is also the predominant ethnic group in Moyo district. With the people of Obongi being predominantly from the Gimara ethnic grouping, Drami says keeping them in Obongi district would hinder service delivery owing to the language difference. In the meetings, we, we don't understand each other when things are spoken in the local language. Because of being minority in the, in the number, it is difficult to get the employment opportunity. On 15th December 2022, the Constitutional Court agreed with the petitioners, ruling that the process of placing Palorinya in Obongi district was null and void. Our issue is the will of the people must be respected. We are in a, a democratic government. In a democratic government, the people decide for themselves without being coerced. The court only stopped at the point of interpretation of the law, whether the process was correct, correctly done and the court uh, realized the process was not correctly done. The court issued orders to parliament and the Ministry of Local Government to consult the people and thereafter make a decision again on where Palorinya sub-county should belong. Palorinya is now hanging in space, not belonging to either district, until a consultation process is concluded. Some wonder where this leaves service delivery for the residents. Government is sending resources for the people of Palorinya through Obongi district in terms of medical care, in terms of education services, in terms of roads, in terms of all the other aspects of service delivery. So I want to appeal to the people of Palorinya to continue to receive services from Obongi district local government, to also continue to respect the leadership of Obongi district local government until uh, the due process is followed and the will of the people is granted. The Constitutional Court has given the Attorney General 24 months to report to it about the action taken to comply with the order. Gillian Nantume, NTV Weekend Edition.